Good morning. Well, I've made the no need overnight bread and I absolutely love it, but I'm not a patient person. So I use the two hour method. Well, my granddaughter was telling me about this everything bagel bread that she was making that was the kind that you have to leave on the counter for 12 to 18 hours. So I am not making the 12 to 18 hour bread today, but I'm making one that supposedly is an hour to an hour and a half. No need everything bagel bread. And this happens to be vegan. There's no egg in it. So let's see how this turns out. So in this bowl, I have one and a third cups of warm water. Like, um, if you stick your finger in, yes, my hands are clean. You can't feel anything. It doesn't feel hot. It doesn't feel cold. It just feels like nothing. If it's too hot, you'll kill your yeast. So I have two and a half teaspoons of yeast, or if you get the packets, that you would have a packet. And then one and a half teaspoons of sugar. And we're gonna mix this together. And the sugar feeds the yeast. By the way, this video is dedicated to my son, Eric, because he likes to cook and try different things, especially baking. And my oldest granddaughter Perrin who is on her bread making journey and she has been for a few months now. Now I am very fortunate. I have a bread proofing temperature on my oven. So right now I have my oven set on 95 degrees And once this is mixed, I'm just going to stick it in the oven and I'm going to leave it there for about five minutes. It should be all bubbly and foamy. It's the yeast eating the sugar. All right, I'm going to get my whisk too. It's probably okay to have those little lumps of yeast, but I don't want them. So there, that's good. All right, we'll be back in five minutes and see what this looks like. Well, here it is, and I know it's probably hard to see, but it is frothy and bubbly underneath there. So we know that that's activated. Now I'm gonna add my flour. The recipe calls for three cups, and I have my half cup measure, and as I was counting it out, I got a pain in my knee and totally lost my count, so I'm going to do this again. One, two, this is a half cup, by the way, so I need six, three, four, yep. There. All right, I got my three cups of flour. I'm adding a tablespoon of everything but the bagel seasoning. The recipe calls for three tablespoons, but you only add one in the dough. Then I have my salt, a teaspoon of salt and a tablespoon of olive oil. All right, so we're gonna mix this up and you're gonna get a real sticky dough, kind of shaggy, but that's what you want.
I don't know about you, but I love everything bagels. And I thought, oh my gosh, this is going to be good. Now, the everything bagel seasoning that I have is um, from the Amish store that I got when I was in upstate New York visiting my daughter. And it doesn't have the ingredients on there, so hopefully they didn't put a lot of salt in it. Because I've had some seasonings that didn't have salt and some that did that were a little too much. All right, so this looks good. It's gotten all the flour that I've had in the bowl. All right, now I'm just gonna cover that and I have some little covers that I'm gonna use. You don't have these covers, you can just take a piece of saran wrap. Oh goodness, why? this is not big enough. Hold on, let me get another one. There, that's much better. And after I get this covered up, it's going to go back and sit in my proofing oven at 95 degrees and it's going to sit there um i don't know let's see what does it say here all right all it says is until it rises so it's about double its size so i'm going to check it in probably about an hour that should be good Here it is after 50 minutes. So it's nice and doubled. I'll take my cap off. And now let me sprinkle some flour on my workspace. Someday I'm going to get a new setup so I'm not so close. All right, see, it is very sticky. And I don't have one of those neat little dough scrapers that you can scrape your dough out. So my little silicone spatula works just fine. All right, it smells yummy. Now I'm just going to put some flour Ooh. on my hands all right and all you're gonna do is take your dough and just fold it in on itself That's it. Okay, I'm going to flip it over. And I'm going to put my parchment paper down. So there it is. And I am going to uh, put a couple slits in. So it can expand nice. And I don't have a razor either yet. So I am just going to make some cuts. About, oh, they go down about a half inch, I guess. Okay. I'm going to put the little cap back on and it's going to sit here while my oven is heating up to temperature with my nice big cast iron Dutch oven sitting in the oven. So that'll take about 
10 minutes to get up to 425 degrees. So I'll be back. Okay, my pan is all heated up and be very careful because it gets mighty hot. So I'm gonna lift this up. Oh no, first of all, I gotta take my cap off. And I'm just gonna lightly brush the top with some heavy cream. You can use an egg wash, you can use water, you can use milk, whatever you like. And this is just gonna help the uh, everything but the bagel mix stick on. This is the other two tablespoons. I don't know if I'm gonna use the whole thing. And I wanted to mention too, if you happen to have the seasoning that already has salt in it, then maybe you won't wanna add salt in your recipe. It's up to you. I'll find out what this has. Okay, that looks good. That's what I had left. I think I have enough on there. Okay, let me pick this up. This whole thing is gonna go right in the pan. And I would show you, but I only have two hands. Once it gets in the pan, I'll show you. There it is. All ready to have the lid put on. And back in the oven, it's gonna go for a half hour. After a half hour, I'm gonna remove the lid and cook it for another, oh, I don't know. I'll check it after 15 minutes. Okay. It's been a half hour. So let's get this lid off without burning myself. There it is. It's going back in for 15 minutes. Here she is. I left it in for 20 minutes without the lid, and now I'm going to take it out of the pan. Here she is, and it's tempting to cut it now, but you really should um, wait a little bit till it cools off a little bit, and it has a nice hollow sound. So as soon as I'm ready to cut it, I will make sure that I have my camera ready. All right, it's been a half hour and I'm gonna cut myself a piece. Looks mighty good. Now, I couldn't decide if I wanted butter or cream cheese. So I'm going to go half and half. Oh, that inside is nice. All right, there's my butter side. Oop. Alexa, off. Okay, half cream cheese, half butter. There it is. I'll do the butter side first. Mm -mm -mm. It is not salty at all, so I guess that seasoning didn't have salt in it, which is good. All right, let's try the cream cheese side. Oh, and you haven't heard little Zoe barking lately because she went to the groomer to get all pretty for Christmas. Okay, here's cream cheese. Mm-mm. This is delicious, and I can't wait. 
to try it toasted with cream cheese. So there you go. No need bread. It took an hour. No, not even an hour to cook. Um, 30, what I say? 20 minutes. So it was in the oven for 50 minutes, 30 minutes with the lid, 20 minutes off. Didn't have to knead it. And it's amazing. If you go down in the um, um, description below, I'm also going to put a variation um, to make rosemary and garlic. So I hope everyone is having a wonderful day. Have a happy holiday season. And for those people celebrating Christmas, God bless and remember why we celebrate Christmas. Until later, bon appetit.